in the promise. God wants me to speak to you all today because God wants you to know that there are some things that are about to happen to you. There are some things that are about to happen to you because you have persevered. You have been faithful because you have been long-suffering and because you have waited upon the Lord. And whenever we wait upon the Lord, and if God promises us something, then God cannot lie. God cannot, that's the one thing he cannot do. He can do everything else, but he cannot lie. So I feel the need to come today to encourage the body of Christ that God is about to do something great in this house this day, this year, this week. God is saying today that he wants you to be encouraged that in the next four to five years of ministry and of your life, that because of where he is about to take you, it's going to be something that's going to blow your mind. Amen? Amen. I tell your neighbor that if God said it, he's going to make it good. Amen. And God's going to bring it to pass. If you look at your other neighbor, tell them, neighbor. morning that if God said it, let me say that if he said it, then you can believe it and that sells it. That's the way the old folk used to say it. That if God says it, then I believe it and that sells it. That's the way it used to be. There are a lot of promises in the world today, but just because they promise doesn't mean that it manifests itself. But God has manifested promises. God does not just promise a hollow things. He doesn't just give you smoke screens, but God promises you the truth. And he promises that if you'll hold on just a little while longer, that his promises shall come to be fulfilled. And again, might I say that because of your faithfulness, you have not given up on the word. And because you've not given up on God, then things are already coming to pass in the spirit realm. What he is already indeed working on, what he is already indeed doing, he is already faithful in his promise. He's already getting ready to make some stuff good in your life. He's already getting ready to make some things happen in your life. It's evident because we serve a great God. And a God that has a vision. And when God has a vision, he promises to accomplish it and that great things are going to happen. So God is already working on your behalf for those that believe in God and those that are faithful to God. But I want you to know today that God is getting ready to make some promises good in this house. God has given me a prophetic word in the point and pivot, we are a pivotal point in the life of the believers in this house as well as in the life of this church that there is a pivotal point that is happening and, and God gave this, this to me prophetically early in the week when I wasn't even really thinking church thought but God began to speak to me and to pour into me that seasons are changing and that your status is about to change and that God is about to do some advancing in Pleasant Ridge God is about to do some great things in Pleasant Ridge God is about to do some things that none of you all have thought about, none of you all have seen. I don't know about y'all, but I'm glad that I have a king who's over the kingdom who can sit down and eat it and tell us all about it. Who can sit down and eat it and command what is to take place in the kingdom. So when God tells me that there's about to be a shift, I believe God is 
shift that is going to affect every group and every board and every choir member and every member. So you might better tell your neighbor, if you ain't ready to go, you might better get ready. Because we are going somewhere and this shift is going to cause a major stirring up. A major outpouring, a major empowering for us in this dimension where God is taking us. See, God is taking us to a new dimension. Church is not going to be just church anymore. But God is shifting us into a new dimension. Can somebody say, I'm going higher? within the spirit realm and within the body of Christ and specifically in this body. Your struggles have not been for naught but they have been for God to test you to see 